Hello friends, how are you all doing? Hope you're enjoying our series of videos. In this video, let me start with an interesting question. In a class of students, there are five students who like playing football and there are six students who like playing tennis. Can you tell me what is the total number of students in the class? The obvious answer would be 11. But what if I say that the class has only nine students? or even eight students. Puzzled? So to answer this question, let me take you back in time to 1880. Can you see this man on screen? He's a famous logician, philosopher and a teacher, John Wen. And this story dates back to 1880 when John Wen was there in Cambridge, England and he was interacting with a group of nine students. He asked the students to submit a list of those who liked playing football and those who liked playing cricket. And astonishingly, he got a list of six students for football and five for cricket. He was puzzled because in all there were nine students in the class but the list showed six plus five that is eleven students. But on careful examination, he understood the mystery. The point was there were two names in the list, Jack and William, which were repeated in both the lists. That is, their names were there in the cricket list as well as the football list. And that's what was the reason for those two extra numbers. And this guy thought that if this question could puzzle him, the same would happen with other people also. So why not put this concept in the form of a picture or a diagram which makes things easy for people and this is what he did. He took two circles like these. The first circle would represent those students who like cricket and the second would represent those who like football. Now he overlapped the two circles partially like this. Then he put those students who liked only cricket there and those who liked only football there now only two students were left jack and william now as we know that jack and william had given their names for both the sports he put jack and william in the middle why in the middle because can you see that is the area which is common to both the circles and as you know both of them like both the sports they were to be in the middle.